Well, it wouldn't be a Saturday morning without a, no. a comment from the greater uh, goodings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> m- m- most popular segment on the show. I heard your yawn, Cornsy, before. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. No, so, you, you know, didn't. you can say it what was, you like to the face. Was, <laughs> it was yawning his head off, oh, Liam. Yeah. I know. Uh, no, I know. No, I was tired. I was tired. <laughs> yeah, of course you were. Yeah. You've been caught out. <laughs> Red-handed. <laughs> All right, well, what have you got for us? Oh, uh, it's good to hear you laughing, guys. There's not a lot to laugh about at the moment, no. is there? No, but no. we're going to make the most of that. Yeah, we do. Um, and this coronavirus is dominating the, the news, but it's dominating sport as well. I was just thinking before that in, in times of tragedy and adversity, we often turn to sport and entertainment and Correct. movies to get away from this yep. adversity. But you turn towards sport and it's there staring you in the face. You know, we've never known anything like this before. No. Uh, to look at a season where spectators could be locked out. Now, I was thinking of... And, you know, I'm a, a mad Adelaide Crows fan, as you know, and mm. I know a lot of the supporters there. And they, they live and breathe for their footy. You know, you know a little part of them dies. They That's just can't their life, wait. yeah. You're right, yeah, Graham. They can't wait for the next season. They, they count down day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. But what are they looking at now? They're e- looking empty at stadium. empty stadiums. Yeah, but can I put some balance on that? We, if you look the world over, when, when real atrocities occur when real natural disasters occur people are lose their lives they're devastated they're displaced um, i mean that that's a real tragedy we, we're inconvenienced by the fact our our sporting viewing is is interrupted now look yes there might be financial considerations down the track as the economy stalls but you know we but but graham's right i, I know it, look i know Corns, our, it's a, have, it's a, it's a first heart. world problem isn't it, it gee is. whiz i can't go and see the footy yeah. but the reality is it can it, it's going to go beyond that. I mean, I'm yep. prepared to say that yep. it's a lockout at the footy for the first couple of games. Yep. There will be games that are cancelled altogether. A player is going to fall sick yep. with coronavirus, mm-hmm. a coach, a member of the administration, an umpire. What happens then? That's one game. Do they cancel all the games well, if, if one game's cancelled? That's the thing. This is well, that's why, even though Andrew Fagan and Keith Thomas didn't have all the answers, they were prepared to come on and say what they did know, and, and indeed what they didn't know. These are still these things Unanswered. are still being worked through. I've got yeah. lots. Of, we've got quite a few text messages already saying what happens if a player gets sick. Uh, they don't know yet. There's no there's no protocol yet. That's unfolding. Yeah, exactly. But it will happen. I happen. can tell you now, it will, happen it will happen that a player will get coronavirus and game will be called off and then it'll be like a domino effect. How far will it go? Mm. Um, you know, and this is something that's... Fa- and I mean, we're focusing on the sporting area, but of course this is facing us all in our everyday lives. Yeah. Uh, you know, someone we know very shortly is going to have coronavirus. Exactly. Uh, hopefully the mild case. Exactly. Yeah, well, that's right. I mean, in most cases, people do recover very quickly, and it's only the elderly guys. Don't yeah. put your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, yeah. Graham. <laughs> seven, seven. We will survive. Good on you, Graham. Graham Goodings. Graham Goodings.